Uh, Shalom, Apostle Hawk, coming back at you once again with this truth, giving all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and I'm going to entitle this video Esau, thou shalt be cut off forever. And um, you know, you already know what I'm going to go into. You know, um, you got this new thing out there among these demons teaching that. Um, there's going to be a certain amount of Edomites that's going to stick around. We're not going to kill off all the Edomites. Uh, you even got groups out there, GOCC, that teach that uh, certain Edomites are going to be saved. Now, that's clearly not in the scriptures. And it's becoming more and more evident who the true men of the Lord are. And the truth, the most High is dealing with great millstone. All right? A lot of times we say the Most High is dealing with Great Millstone and any group that teaches the same thing. Well, they're part of Great Millstone because they got it from Great Millstone. The Most High didn't come to them and, and teach them. They watched our videos, came up with their own name, and they're teaching what basically we, what we teach. And you got a lot of bug outs out there. You got this guy, Lahab, Blaze Judah. I mean, he's, you got to go watch his videos. He's teaching that Gentiles are going to make it. Now, you know, when you go into the New Testament and read, you read, you come across the word Gentile, it's talking about Gent the Gentiles receiving salvation. It's talking about Israelites. He thinks it's talking about actual Gentiles. And he's also teaching that the laws are done away with. You don't have to keep the Sabbath, the high holy days, the Passover. You know, so he's bugged out his damn self. So anybody that follows him, you're going to get what he going to get, which is destruction. Because the Most High is not dealing with Lahab. Alright? Anyway, uh, I'm going to go to the book of Obadiah, which is a, one chapter long. I'm going to start at the 10th verse. And I'm going to prove to you that uh, Esau will be destroyed forever. There's going to be a point where you're not going to see Esau anymore. There's not going to be one Edomite left. You're going to be destroyed, utterly wasted, destroyed, done away with. No Edomites. No Edomites. There's going to be a time after the, the destruction of Babylon the Great, which is the land of Edom, which is America, currently called America, formerly used to be called the land of Canaan. It's going to be utterly destroyed. And your sis, your beast is the beast is going to be destroyed pursuant to Daniel the seventh chapter. Also, Daniel the second chapter. The beast is NATO and the EU, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and the European Union, along with your power structure, your UN, your so-called Roman Catholic Church, and any of you Edomites out there, you're going to be destroyed. You're going in this, all of you are going in the ones of you that survive among the super rich. You're going right into slavery. You're going to be shackled up and you're going to be the first to taste slavery under the power of uh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by, by his uh, chosen elect, which are the children of Israel. And it's coming, man. You, you, you done lived your, you, you, you lived your, 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 in your kingdom. You established your kingdom and now your kingdom is coming to an end. Everything has an end except for the Lord's kingdom. And, and we as Israelites, being under Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, we're never going to be uh, destroyed. No nation is going to take us down because we're the children of the Most High. And 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 the Most High Himself, or Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha Himself, uh, Yahweh Shai will be among us. That's uh, Revelation 21. Okay, so I'm going to go to the 10th verse, Obadiah 1 verse 10. It says, For thy violence against thy brother Sh Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Thou shall be cut off forever. Now let me let me go to the word ever. <clears throat> the word for, uh, the word ever or forever is uh, I will love, and it means long duration, antiquity, a few futurity, futurity, fu excuse me, f futurity. Forever, ever, everlasting, evermore, perpetual, old, ancient, old, a world, ancient time, long time, of past, of future, forever, 
always continuous existence, perpetual, everlasting, indefinite, or unending future eternity. So that's what that word means. So now I'm going to go to one scripture right here real quick. Okay, this is Revelation. Revelation 9, verse 16. It says, and I can go to a bunch of scriptures, but I'm just going to go to this one scripture. It says in Reve um, Genesis 9, verse 16, and the bow, meaning the rainbow, shall be, and this was a covenant, matter of fact, let me, let me go back a verse or two. I'll start at 12. And the, and the most and the power said, this is the token of the covenant which I made between me and you and every creature that is with you for perpetual generations, meaning forever. I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. So do you still have uh, rainbows today when it rains? After a good rain, you see a rainbow. So the Most High put the rainbow, established the rainbow back during the time of uh, uh, Noah. Which Noah, uh, Nawak means comfort. 14. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth. And I've seen that many a times when it rained or a cloudy day. You had a shower or whatever, or a good rain, a storm. You see that you look for the rainbow, and you always see the rainbow. That the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you, meaning me and you, meaning the most high man and living creature. You and every living creature of all flesh, and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. The Most High does bring floods. You, you experience the flood of uh, Harvey that devastated Texas. But it didn't destroy all men. I think it was maybe under 40 that died. But this flood, the Great Flood, destroyed all mankind except for Noah, his sons, and their and, and their wives and his and his wife and they repeopled the earth so the most i said that you know i'm not going to i'm not going to destroy the earth by a flood ever again it says 16 and the bow and the and the bow meaning the rainbow shall be in the cloud and i will look upon it that i may remember the everlasting covenant between the most high and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. So that word everlasting goes back to the word I will lum or I will lum yum. That's even in the Lord's Prayer. I will lum yum. It means everlasting, everlasting, perpetual. Okay, so now let's go back to Obadiah. So I can, I can close it right now. I already proved my point. It says, Obadiah 1 verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame. And it's talking about Esau. Because you can read from the top, the first verse if you like. Jacob, um, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. And thou, Esau, the Edomites, every last one of them, thou shalt be cut off forever and like I said the word there forever is I will lum or I will lum yum which meaning perpetual they're gonna be cut off forever all of them you ain't gonna have a five eating my scraggling around in the kingdom or in the, or in the wood somewhere they're gonna be cut off all right it says 11 verse 
in the day that thou saw uh, stoodeth on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces. Those strangers are talking about uh, talking about the Babylonians, which you can read about in uh, First Ezra chapter one and also in chapter two. It goes into the history. You can also go into the Josephus if you like. 11 verse again, and the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers, the Babylonians, are carried away captive, his forces and uh, foreigners entered into his gate. Those foreigners were, were the Babylonian, the Babylonian Empire, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even though even thou was one of them, meaning. Uh, the Edomites, they were a part of us being brought down. They helped the Babylonians. You know, any Israelites that, that, that were hidden, the Edomites, which is supposed to be our brothers by way of uh, Abraham, they came up against us. Okay, goes on and says the 12 verse, but, but thou shouldest not have looked on, on the day of thy brother, in the day, and I'm, well, I'll keep going. And our brother, in the day that he became a stranger, uh, neither should have thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. So Esau, the Edomites, they rejoice in the day of our destruction. So they have to pay. Neither should have thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. And you got these clown-ass Israelites saying, we're not supposed to hate Esau. The scriptures say you can hate your wife. If, if you have two wives, one you, you love and the other hateth, but you can't hate, hate Esau. Like I said, you got to get, get away from these bootleg camps, man. Great millstone is the only ones that go deep and really, you know, go into these scriptures. And that's why we put the mar push the mark of the beast so, so strongly. 13 verse, thou should have not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. And that's what you Edomites did. Yeah, thou should have not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have uh, laid hands on their substance in the day of their calam calamity. So you were doing the same thing that the Babylonians were doing. You were taking our substance. And the way you're going to pay for it is going into slavery and... Uh, and being cut off forever. It's a 14 verse. Neither should have thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of, of his that did escape. So the Israelites that escaped, you Edomites cut them off. Neither should have thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. Fifteen, for the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Sixteen, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, which is the uh, land of Israel, shall, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. So what what is Esau's possessions? Your what you have, your land. We're gonna take your land. Eighteen. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau a stubble. What is stubble? Stubble is the st stuff that's left after a fire. If you burn down, burn wood or burn trees, what's left is stubble, ashes, stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, the Demo Edomites, all of them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh have spoken it. 
So you're, you're, you're replying against the Lord. You're telling the Most High he's going off. So there's a special death for you. Anybody that's teaching this nonsense. Nineteen, and they of the south shall possess the Mount of Esau. So the southern uh, tribes like Judah or the kingdom of Judah, they're going to possess the Mount of Esau. We're going to possess that land. In other words, our our land is going to uh, our uh, land is going to be uh, uh, broadened. Let me read that again. Nineteen verse, and they of the south shall possess the Mount of Esau, and they of the plain, the Philistines. And they shall possess the fields of Ephraim. So Ephraim going to get their land back. Or Samaria. And the fields of Samaria. And Benjamin shall possess Gilead. Because Gilead is uh, the land of uh, the tribe of Benjamin. So where's Esau going to be? He's going to be out of there. It says. Uh, 20th verse. And the captivity of this. And the captivity of this host. Of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, which we the most high gave us the land of Canaan in the first place, even unto Zarephath and the captivity of Jer Jerusalem or Jerusalem, which which is in which is in a uh, Sepharad shall possess the cities of the south, and saviors shall come up Israelites, starting from the elect on down, shall come up on Mount Zion to judge look at it to judge the Mount of Esau who's going to be in the land of Esau jump back up to the 19th verse and they of the south which is the kingdom of Judah shall or the tribe of Judah shall possess the Mount of Esau they said we're going to possess the Mount of Esau we're going to possess their lands Let me jump up to the 17th verse, Obadiah 1 verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. Israel is going to be delivered. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob, Israel, shall possess their possessions. Possess whose possessions? Esau's possessions. We're going to take his land. And we're going to take him. And then we're going to destroy them. And you're not going to see no Edomites anymore. So when you jump down... And you read 19 verse again. And they of the south, and they of the south, which is the kingdom of Judah, shall possess the mount of Esau. We're going to take their land. 21st verse. And saviors shall come up, which are Israelites, starting with the elect, on Mount Zion to judge the mount of Esau. Who's going to be living in the mount of Esau, the land of Esau? Israelites. And the kingdom shall be your house. So now let's go from here to Job 20. Bear me for a minute. I'll start at I'll start at uh I'll start at five. I believe I'll start at five. Job twenty verse five. That the triumphant of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Talking about Esau. Though his excellent mount up though his excellency mount up to the heavens. Your satellites, your planes, your shuttles, um, and his head uh, reach unto the clouds. Yet he shall perish forever. There goes the word forever again. He, he shall perish forever. Let's look up the word for uh, perish. Perish. The word is um, Ibad. It means destroy, uh, lose, fail, uh, perish. 
uh, sh uh, surely, uh, utterly broken, destruction, escape, flee, uh, uh, spendeth, undone, void. You're going to be void. Okay, that, now this word for ever is not to Zach, which means ever, never, perpetual, always, end, victory, strength, always, uh, constantly, evermore, uh, never. Oh, you can play with this word if you want it, man. You, the most high looking at you, man. And he, gonna, he, got a, he got a special death for all you guys that's teaching this madness and confusion the children of Israel. It says, um, seven verse, Job 20, verse seven, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. What do you do with dung? Oh shit, when you go to the toilet and you flush the toilet and you come back later and you go to the bathroom again and you see a, 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 a piece of shit or a turd still floating up there. You get mad, right? And you flush it harder. So when you... Look, you don't want to ever see your, your, the shit that come out your ass. You don't want to see that again. Once you flush it down the so toilet, you don't want to see it coming back again. So it's the same thing with Esau. He's going to be flushed down the, 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 the spiritual toilet. By fire, he's going to be burnt. Seven verse again, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? You're going to be looking to see where Esau is and you ain't going to find him because he's not going to be nowhere on the planet. Eight verse, he shall fly away. So you better hope like hell. You people out there that look like Edomites, you better hope like hell. You got some heap Israelite blood in you. Or some Ishmaelite blood in you, or some Hamitic blood, in, blood, uh, um, um, spirit in you. You better hope that you any nation outside of Esau, because Esau will be done away with, man. And I'm reading it out the scriptures. A verse: He shall fly away as a dream, and shall not be found. You ever have a dream, and it was a good dream? You might have had a uh, feeling for a particular chick. That you might have ran to or somebody in high school, and you know you know you can't get to her because you know she 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 um you know she she on a higher level as far as looking good as you know as far as fine with a capital uh fine with a capital fine, and you dream that you with her, and then you wake up from the dream, and then you wish you go back to sleep so you can go back to the dream and you can't get that you can't connect with that dream no more. I'm just using it as an example. Don't be making a video. Where, you know, Tahar used to like this girl in high school. He dreamt of her. And he, he, you know. No, I'm just using it as an example. All right? It says, a verse. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. You have a good dream. You want to go back to sleep after you wake up. And you want to be in that dream again. Yeah. He shall be chased away as a vision of the night. You're not going to see him no more. It says the eye also which saw him shall see him, see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor and his hands shall restore their goods. His bones shall are full of the sin of his youth. Because when we get on Esau, they'll say, well, wait a minute, that was my fore foreparents. I wasn't around. Then you teach them that there's a thing called reincarnation. You are your foreparents in reincarnation. You did that to us in another life. It says, 11 verse, his bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. 12 verse, though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it, under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but it but keep it 
are still within his mouth. That's the Illuminati. That's the, the, the elite. I'm not talking about no regular, you know, Joe Edomite. 14 verse. Yet his meat and his bowels is turned. It is the gall of asp within him. He have swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. So Esau, the, the riches that he, the material wealth that he has in gold and, and silver and the different uh, resources, all that's going to be given to us. It's going to be turned over to us. The Mosai shall cast him out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of apps. If you suck the poison of apps, what, what's, if you have poison in you by a, a deadly snake, What's going to happen? You're going to die. The viper's tongue sh uh, shall slay him. He shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. Why? Because he's going to be destroyed. He's going to be destroyed. Okay, so now let's go from there. We've got one more scripture I want to go to, which is Isaiah uh, 14. Let's go down to I'll start at 19, 19 verse Isaiah 14 verse 19 But thou art cast out of thy grave Grave Okay, it says, but thou art, and this is a good chapter, you know, you should read it from the first verse. But thou, sh but thou art cast out of thy graves like an abominable branch, and as the remnant of those that are slain, thrust through with a sword that go down to the stone, stones of the pit as a carcass uh, underfoot, trodden underfoot. 20. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed thy land. So you're not going to have that land. You're not going to have that land. You have destroyed your land and we're going to take that land, Judah. And, sl and slain thine people. The seed of evildoers, another word for uh, Esau, evildoers, shall never be re renowned. They're not, not going to be famous. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the, the world with cities because they're going to be gone we just read that in Obadiah and we read that in Job 20 for I will raise 22nd verse for I will raise up against up against them saith Yahweh of hosts Host meaning of, of his armies. His host, you have the children and men of Israel, that's one host. The angels, that's another host. And the missiles, that's another host. And cut off from Babylon, because Babylon is America. The name and the remnant and the son and the nephew, saith Yahweh. So once Babylon is destroyed, NATO's going to be destroyed. The EU's going to be destroyed. The UN's going to be destroyed. The Roman Catholic institution is going to be destroyed. The Black Pope is going to be destroyed. They're going to go into slavery, and then after slavery, they're going to be gathered together, all of them, and they're going to be destroyed. They're going to be burnt up. So with that, I'm going to close and I'm going to say this again. Anybody that's teaching that Esau is going to be walking around in the kingdom after uh, Obadiah, the, the, the 18 verses are uh, fulfilled, but you're going to have a couple of them that's going to escape. You're a damn fool, man. And then anybody that's teaching you're going to have Edomites that's going to be delivered and going to be equal to, with Israel or going to be living and fro frolicking in the kingdom, 
that's that's out. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say shalom. Keep listening to Great Millstone. We are the ones that are pushing this word and defending this word and, and going deep into the scriptures. We go into words and all the mother can't be watching us, man. All the mother can't be watching us to, to see what, what new thing the Most High gave us to bring out to y'all. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.